Good evening, Swirly Nation, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to Columbus, Ohio, for this evening's game between the Columbus Junior Jackets and your Pittsburgh Penguins Elite. The Pens coming into this one hoping to avenge a bit of a beating earlier this afternoon, not long ago. A game that saw that really get away from the Pens early Nonetheless, we're going to line them up. Here's the great part about hockey, ladies and gentlemen, and swirly fans all across the country. The great part is, when you look at the scoreboard right now, you're going to see a whole bunch of zeros. 15 minutes on the clock, zeros on the scoreboard, and none of what happened this afternoon matters. Penn's starting lineup for today. In net, number 48, Sammy Bruchette. The defense, number five, Dino Felino. Number 88, Danny Foster. The forwards at center, number 22, Landon Blue. His wings, 14, Grayson Baru. And the pens are in, it's Ryan Schweitzer pulling it to the backhand. And talking one by, and the Penguins take an early lead. Sorry for the disruption on the starting lineup there. It looks like we have Zachi moving up to the wing. Lucas Zachi on the wing on this line. Schweitzer, Lohr, and Zachi. You got Dixon and Foster still on D. Felino went off. Foster stayed out. I wonder if the Pens are shorthanded again. I, I know Vickers was, was injured a bit I, 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 in the last game. So I'm, I'm curious. Hopefully he's okay because the Pens, again, already down to 10 skaters. Injuries to Goldberg and Kumnik have kept them out. And we also have Lewarchuk not in the lineup today. Cutting the puck off the goal scorer, Schweitzer, who tapped it in on the backhand and put the Pens up 1-0. So it'll be Felino coming on. Bowen was the other player on the starting lineup that I didn't get to. My apologies to all the Bowen maniacs out there. Finn Bowen playing the wing on this bloom line with Baru. And it looks like Vickers is out. It looks like they're going to move Zachi up the forward. It looks like the Pens are now down to nine. Short four players. And they've got a lead on a team that's that's had their number twice already this season. The Pens with the lead. This is Bowen pressuring the point. Puck pops free in the Columbus zone. They'll run the break out to the outside. Keeping it in, though, Felino. Right to a jacket who drives the right side of the zone. Pass comes off the stick of Dixon to a streaking jacket. And the Penguin defense equal to the task, keeping it away from Netminder Bruchette as it pops free to center. Baru battling for it there. And we'll have a hook. Hook, hook, hook. And we'll see. We're going to go to the box. They're going to give him two minutes for hooking, which is, again, uh, the referee actually, I was discussing this in the lobby, how this is a completely wrong call. Two-minute penalties. The referee said the Columbus Blue Jackets have a USA Hockey exemption, which I believe is a gigantic pile of hooey, to call two-minute penalties in 15-minute games, despite the USA Hockey rulebook clearly stating minute-and-a-half penalties for all 15-minute period games. But in the state of Ohio, apparently you go by your own rules, not those dictated by USA Hockey. It'll be Schweitzer. Penguins goal scorer in his own end. He takes a high, high 
arm to the noodle there. Gets back up. Pence cannot afford another injury. Already down to nine skaters. Schweitzer popping out through center. He finds Lohr. Lohr with speed into the offensive zone. Carrying wide. Cutting back to the middle. He's got Zachi at the point. He's got a shot if he can get it off, and he does. It skips it on net, and Schweitzer pops it just wide of the cage. Looking for number two. As the Jackets come out, Penn's doing a much better job to start this one. Jackets try to come through center. Picked up and carried in behind. Banked off the boards. Zachi unable to clear. The Jackets keep it in. The Pens will keep battling, though. Pens kick it out the center. It's Bloom. He's able to work it into the Ohio Blue Jacket zone. Pressured there. Keeps pressuring him. Forcing it further and further back into the Ohio, the Columbus zone. Banked off the boards just past the stick of Dixon. It'll be Foster, the first one to get there. Creates some space with a fake. Cuts back to the middle. Drives to the right-hand side. Pens are onside at the blue line as Foster takes it to the right wall where it's picked off by a jacket. Back pressure from Foster as the jackets dump it deep into the Penguin zone. 13 seconds left here on the power play. Banked off the wall, kept in at the blue line, though, by Columbus. Columbus fires it in behind to Felino. Penguins able to keep Bruchette clean so far. First shot comes in, Bruchette there with it, able to pop the rebound free as the Penguins defenseman Foster. These Pens defense are going to log a ton of minutes. The Black Jackets come off the wall, and there's Bruchette to make a dandy of a stop in the logo and hold on. So two big key saves there. By Bruchette. It'll be Schweitzer. To take the draw. One by the Pens. It's Lohr. Out to center. Pens doing a better job already of escaping their end. Lohr carries it into the offensive zone. Dumps it in deep. Zachi will give chase. Zachi's pressure forces the turnover to Dixon. And he absolutely fires a howitzer. That catches the crossbar as Big Ben strikes one. That was a phenomenal wrist shot from the point by the Pens defenseman. An eighth of an inch lower, and it's it's 2-0. But the Pens play on. In their own end, battling for it against the boards. It comes free. It's Schweitzer rimming it around, looking for Zachi. Cutting in front of him as a jacket's forward there in support, Felino. Felino spins it behind for Dixon. He tries for the half wall, nobody home, but it skips all the way back through center. Picked up by the Jackets in their own end. Breaking out to the left. Nice centering feed to come through the neutral zone as the Jackets gain the Penguin end. 9.42 to play. Puck comes into the corner. Popped off the boards. And cleared by Baru. He tries to go off the boards and pick it up. The Jacket defender read it well, put it back to the Penguins' blue line, and they'll dump it back in. Bruchette able to make this cover on a puck that rolls in. 9-21 to play period one, Penguins lead. It'll be Bloom stepping to the draw. He wins it back to the corner for Foster. He banks it off the boards looking back for Bloom. The Jackets cut it off and keep it in the pen's end, but Foster there. Foster possessing, banking it, staying on the puck. He's sticking with it. He's like flypaper right there on the puck. The Jackets able to rim it to the other side. Dixon set the pressure there. Coming back, uh, I believe Bloom able to work it around for Bowen. Bowen on the half wall. I know you guys can't see it, but I'll keep you abreast of what goes on. We get a whistle on a puck into the bench. You won't be able to see the ice closest to us. That's also where the player benches are. The jackets in this one in blue. Blue uniforms with the Columbus Blue Jacket logo upon the chest. They've got red and white striping on their blue pants, blue socks, and jerseys. Your Penguins in the reverse retro white. The new look of the Pittsburgh Penguins elite. The white jerseys with Pittsburgh diagonal across the chest. The black pants and white socks with the black or the the, the gold and 
Black striping. Columbus carries it in off sides. And those iconic goal. Pittsburgh Penguins elite helmets. Offside play by Columbus. 8.20 to play. Period one. Pens lead 1-0. Face off comes outside of the Penguins zone for Schweitzer. Lohr steps in. The Jackets carry it into the offensive zone. They'll shoot one and Dino Foligno there to block the shot. Schweitzer will battle in the corner. Freeze it up for Felino. His pass for Zachi tipped by a forward of Columbus. It'll pop free in front. Battled for by Dixon. Cleared by Felino. Much better job by the Penguins defense right now. Keeping pucks to the out towards the outside a little better. Centering pass. Tips off the stick of Felino and sails wide. And the Pens will try a breakout. That's kept at the point. Columbus, we saw it a ton in game one. Columbus very good at those points. Those defense aggressive staying down. Here behind the net, dangerous spot. There's a nice defensive play by Felino again. Shot from the point, skips free and is sent into a corner. Getting there for the Penguins is Dixon. His clearing attempt skated into nicely by Lorzy. Lorzy into the offensive zone right side. He'll fire one into the glove hand of the Columbus gold sender. And we'll get an offensive zone faceoff to the left of the Columbus goaltender. 1-0, Pens lead, period one. Loom on the draw, one by Columbus. They blaze out through center. Lead pass just off the skate and into the corner for the Jackets to chase down. Centering feed comes through to the point. That shot tipped by a Penguin stick right into the front. Cleared but not out by Foster. Second time is a beauty and Bowen able to get it to the blue line but no further. Following on Foster to battle on the wall. Columbus kicks it further towards the corner. Bowen sends it back out but just to the point. Shot from the outside. Sticked away by Bruchette to the corner. Nice job of putting the rebound out to the side. It's Bloom battling. Felino comes free. He rims it around behind for Bowen. Bowen working his way up the wall. Little by little, and it comes free. It'll be Bloom, but the stick of a Columbus defender breaks it up. Played back into the pen's end for Foster. 6-12 to go. Foster behind the net. Banks it off the boards looking for Baru. Skating through it comes Foster. He's on the rush. He had a great rush in the first period. This time cuts back to the right side, throws one in on net, glove hand side, batted down by the Columbus goalie, and it comes out to center. Stopped there by Bergru, banked off the boards. He was looking for Lure, but in comes Columbus. Shot, skips in and deflected just wide of the cage by Dixon. Shot fired in from outside, and it just rainbows over the Penguin goaltender's glove and into the net. And the Jackets have tied it at one here in period one. 5.32 to play. Schweitzer to the faceoff dot. Wins it back to Dixon. In comes Columbus. Nice defensive play there by Schweitzer following on support Lohr. And now Dixon. Dixon for Lohr. Lohr able to clear it out the center. Picked up and sent in for Lohr's one-timer. Into the quarter it goes. Back to the point. Dixon fires another heavy shot. This one wide of the cage. Banked off the boards. Back out the center for Felino. He'll play it into the zone, but that'll be an offside play. And we'll get a reset here. Fates off outside of the jacket zone. 1-1, one, one, period one. 
men's elite team Nelson against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Work to the right side. Pressured there by Bowen. Bowen able to keep it out at center and leave the puck for Bloom. Bloom loses his stick, so he'll play a little bit of soccer, kicking it forward. I think he's playing for the Hot Spurs. Columbus able to counter, but there's the stick of Felino again. Felino banks it high off the boards looking for Baru. Getting there, Bloom. Bloom now Felino. Bloom with some great back pressure. Felino runs the break. Able to get it up to the stick of Baru. He's in on sides with the breakaway. He'll shoot. He'll fire. And it, it's 5 o'clock somewhere, ladies and gentlemen. Into the fridge. Grab an ice cold Baru. Grayson Baru makes it 2-1. Penguins on the breakaway. A beautiful feed off the stick of Dino Felino. Sends Baru into the offensive zone to give the Penguins back a one-goal lead. Columbus able to fire it back into the Penguin zone, gathered behind by Foster. He rims it around for Zachi. Long reach to Zachi, able to get to the puck and wedge it out to center. Pens with two on the four check. Columbus able to get it past the stick of Lore. But countered right away by the Penguins. It's Dixon carrying it out the center. He banks it off the boards and gives chase. Penguins defender into the offensive zone, pressuring the puck as Columbus will try to wrap it around. Schweitzer covering for the D. As Columbus comes in, they create a two-on-two -two chance here. Carried to the left, offended off expertly by Danny Foster. Puck to the boards. Columbus will try to peel off the wall. Penguins doing a much better job here shutting that down. And as you can tell, getting it back out to center. Columbus not getting quite the zone time so far in this one that they were so happy to have in the first game. There's Zachi with a stick. Following on and pressuring the Columbus forward. Spinning out of trouble, Felino. Nice use of the body to protect it and get it out the center for Bowen. Bowen chips it into the zone where Zachi gives chase. He's followed up by Bloom as Columbus sends it back up through center. They are about two guys a step off sides as the forward cut to the middle with the puck and that whistle will reset us here at center 2-1 penguins lead period one i almost forgot to plug the camera in and it's almost dying all right sorry about that folks Face off gathered in by <laughs> Bowen, but picked up by Columbus. Great job by Felino to force the play to the wall. This is part of where the Penguins struggled in game one. Popping off those corners coming out to the middle this time. Penguins doing a better job of clearing it. That time they weren't successful, but Baruch will take a second whack at it, and this time he comes to center. He's up through center. He looks for Bloom. It's past his reach. He'll get to it in the corner, and he tries for Bowen. Wrapped around by Columbus, and they'll come out through center. Buck tipped forward, carried into the offensive zone, cut off nicely by Felino. We've said that name a lot in the defensive zone, and this one, he's having a heck of a game. Centering pass. This one gets through, but it's no further than the stick of Dixon, or the foot of Dixon. It looks like he took it off the foot. He's hobbled a bit. He'll get to the bench. Again, Penguins can't lose anyone. They are down to nine. As it pops free, here comes the Jackets. It's a two-on-one if they hurry. Centering pass right to the stick of the Jackets. They shoot it just wide of the goaltender, Bruchette. Penguins off the boards. It's Foster unable to clear his Zachi. Columbus keeps it in. Foster will battle in the corner. Wraps it around again for Zachi. He's unable to get control with the centering pass there. Cut off wonderfully by Schweitzer. His exit attempt, though, cut off even better by Columbus. But the Pens do another good jump here, forcing the play wide to the wall. Wrapped around. Zachi will get there. He's knocked down on the play. Following on was Foster, and his pressure forces the puck out to center. 
slinging it across just past Lohr, but carrying it in is Columbus. Met at the high slot by Foster. Shot from the outside. Blocker to the wall by Bruchette. Nice save there. Following on Schweitzer. Foster will battle. Bank it off the board. He'll have Baru. He's got Schweitzer with him. The two goal scorers for the Pens. Trying to team up on the break-in. That's broken up by Columbus. Sent back into the Pens end. But it's an offside play. And 2-1. Columbus trails your Pens elite right now. Face off outside of the Penguin zone on the offside play. We'll have another offside. Or, nope, maybe a puck into the bench. Yep, puck into the bench. Hard for us to see this short side as well. Face off to center. 5.4 seconds left in the first. Puck comes free. Whacked out of the zone by Foster. And that horn will bring us to the end of period number one. where your Penguins lead two to one over the Columbus Junior Blue Jackets. We'll be back in a moment. We'll put 15 minutes on the clock as the Penguins and Blue Jackets will head back to action here from Ohio Health Ice House, the practice home of the Columbus Blue Jackets for period two between your Penn's Elite and the Columbus Junior Jackets. Puck dumped in by Columbus. It'll be picked up behind the net by Felino. He wraps it around looking for Baru. Baru. Unable to get the puck out, and in comes Columbus. Won't be picked up by Columbus as the Pens try to turn him back the other way. Columbus pops it out to center. Felino will pick it up in his own end. Felino stopping, rimming it around back to Bowen. Bowen unable to get control on the wall. Shot comes in, but wide of Bruchette. Carried behind by Columbus, wrapped out in front, finding an open player in the middle. Shot blocked out front, I believe off the back of a Columbus forward who was looking for a rebound there. Battle on the wall, Felino, Bowen, Bloom, two Penguins down, Felino with the puck. Banks it off the boards, went right to the defense. Carry driving right down Main Street. Bruchette there with the blocker saving at Andy. In behind. Dixon able to fire it out for Bowen, who again clears the zone in a way that checks up, and the Pens will be able to get a line change. At least most of one. Looks like they got Foster again. They're short on D, so Dixon will still be out there as they cut to the middle, and I believe the stick of Foster breaks that play up. A wonderful play by the Pens defenseman to prevent what looked like a a shore carries it into the offensive zone. He's pressured, but he comes free and fires a laser with a better glove save. By the Columbus goaltender, nice stop there. As that puck popped to the corner, Columbus will counterattack. Up to the Penn's blue line. 
Carried in where Schweitzer's able to cut in front and get possessed. Dixon, but it bounces over his stick. Columbus will send it in behind the Penguins net. It's Foster picking it up there. He goes high on boards. Tipped out the center, almost out the center. Now Schweitzer will get it to center. He looks for Zachi. Unable to get past the Columbus forward. Battle on the wall. It ultimately comes heavy shot. He's looking to dish it. He stops, turns, centers one to the backhand. Firing one, maybe two was Lore and equal to the task. The Columbus goaltender, a decent scoring chance there for the Penguins on their rush by Dixon. Bloom to take the face off. Columbus carries it into the pass. We did get a better Wi-Fi signal. Looks like we're... Bloom, Columbus will enter the zone offsides. on some technical stuff here folks we'll continue to try to bring you as much picture as we can shot from the Columbus turning one back in front Columbus firing it wide of Bruchette again Columbus on the puck. They look at getting as many pucks to the middle. The Penguins defense doing a really good job keeping him out from there. Dixon comes free. Big save by Burchett. Pops to the corner. Keep trying to bring you some of the game. It looks like we're a little bit better streaming here. Struggling a bit with the video quality. My apologies to everybody at home. We keep bringing the play-by-play -play here. I think we have video a little better. It's 8.41 to play here in the second period. Pens lead 2-1. Over Columbus. Foster keeps it in at the point. Sent behind. Columbus will collect it there. Pressured by Lohr following on Schweitzer. Schweitzer, nice job to put the body between him and the puck. Trying to center. Comes to Lohr. Lohr skips one in on net. And it's stopped in hell. A little give and go action there with Schweitzer and Lohr. Schweitzer doing a good job in the corner. Putting his body between the puck and the... Columbus player to get possession. He's able to work it out to the front. Delore who gets a shot in on net. And a good scoring chance for the Pen. He's looking to extend this lead. Columbus. Working it out the wing. Dino Felino cuts that off at center. Gathered by Bloom. But brought on by Columbus. 
Into the zone they go. Cutting to the inside, and there is Bruchette with a glove save. Sweet buttery crumpets. That was beautiful. See if we can get that on replay, folks. We might have just gotten the very end of it. Let me try to replay that replay for you. There's the save by Bruchette. Good work. Face off in the pen zone, rimmed around by the pens. It'll be Felino behind the net. Wrapped around for Bowen. And shot further by Dixon out the center. Sent into the Columbus zone far enough for icing. We'll get a whistle. And the faceoff will come all the way back to the Penguins end to the left of Bruchette. Faceoff won by Columbus back to the point. Pressured immediately by the Pens. They're able to dislodge the puck. And it's Lohr out to Zachi. Zachi through center. Uses the long reach to try to poke it around, following on Schweitzer. Schweitzer again. Body between the puck and the defender, following on Zachi. Zachi spins to the middle. He's got a cannon for a shot. He's able to get it back to Foster, though. His shot from outside. Deflects by Zachi. Spun in front by Schweitzer. And held at the side of the cage by the Columbus goalie. Penguins with another good scoring chance there. Zachi coming in from the wall. Cutting to the middle. Finding Foster. A little low to high action. Foster sends the shot in. Schweitzer there for the rebound. And Columbus there for the save. Bloom steps to the dot. Face off to the right of the Columbus goalie. Bloom wins it forward into the corner. Columbus gets there waving at it. Baru. Now Bloom. Comes free for Bowen, but it's picked off of his stick. And chasing it down in the Penguin zone is Baru. He sends it to the point, but no further. Felina will get there. Now Bloom will follow on. Wraps it around looking for Baru. Foster now. Baru. All the way across for Bowen. Bowen will get there. On the backhand. Out the center. Carrying the whole way down, and it'll be far enough for icing again. Face off to the left of Bruchette. 5.59 to play in the second. Puck at the blue line. Nice space creation there, but Schweitzer takes one off the knee, and he is down and injured. Holding the knee. And let's hope Schweitzer will be okay. Take this moment to welcome you again here, Cinnamon Swirl TV, a Cinnamon Swirl production. As Schweitzer gets to his feet and heads off under his own power. It's a good sign for the Pens.
Bloom will take the draw to the right of Bruchette. Face off one by Columbus, back to the point. Gathered on the right point and dumped in. Catching it behind the Columbus forward off the boards looking for the defenseman, but it comes free to Baru. He's behind the de first defenseman, chips it out to center. And it'll go the whole way to the opposite corner. Baru will chase it down on the half wall. He's defended nicely there. And back comes Columbus. They'll fire it across the ice. Felino in a race to the puck. He'll get there first, banking it off the boards. Penguins need a wing over there. No one there as it's turned back to the middle. It comes free, and it's Baru scooping it up. He's out the center. He's got Bloom with him as he'll fire it in behind the Columbus goal. Picked up there by the Jackets. Pe Penguins in the midst of a line change. Only four on the ice. Now fifth one. Schweitzer's back out there. Good news for the Pens as Columbus sends one off the side of the net. Wrapped around behind. Out to the point. Shot in, blocked out front. A turning shot from in front. Over the glove hand side of Bruchette and into the net. A high shot to the corner. We saw a few of those in game one. This one coming from between the circles has tied the game at two. Here in Columbus. off at center as the Jackets have just tied the game. Can the Pens get it back? Played up to their blue line by Columbus and into the zone. Sending it to the side of the net. Back in front and that one skips through the legs of Bruchette. A play from the wall pops out in front and gets underneath the pad. And just like that the Jackets are in the lead. Penguins looking to regroup. Loom to take the face off. One back to Columbus. Banked off the boards, gathered in, and driving into the offensive zone they come. They had a ton of zone time in the first game. Penguins have done a much better job both defensively, offensively, getting the puck out, covering the front of the net, all around here. You can tell by the score, it's 3-2. They're getting the puck out of their zone like that right there by Danny Foster. They're coming through the neutral zone, creating offensive chances. Pens can get back in this one as it skips up into their bench, avoiding head coach Trevor Nelson. That's right, your Penguins are coached by head coach Trevor Nelson. He's got a few years of Pens lead under his belt. As a bench boss, these young men are lucky to have him. Schweitzer. Steps to the dot. Columbus wins it forward, but right there's Dixon to just take it right off the stick of the Columbus forward. Worked out to the boards for Lohr. Unable to clear the zone. Into the corner it goes. Now to the half wall. Puck skips in, blocked by Felino. Cleared back out to Lohr. Lohr swipes it back to the middle to Schweitzer. Schweitzer with a nice tip to Zachi. It's in his feet. He's unable to get control. Back come the Jackets. Two on two. Now two on three. The back check of Schweitzer. As the shot comes in, Bruchette able to put it in a corner. Skipping one back in front and all the way through the crease. Looking for the point man. Columbus able to wrap it back in behind the net. Spinning out of there. Trying to center it. Stick on puck by Dixon. That shot from outside stopped by Bruchette. Backhander fought off by Dixon and cleared by Zachi. He was looking for Lore. It couldn't get through the Columbus defender. Kicked back out the center, but in comes Columbus in by himself. Firing Bruchette there with a pad save. On the breakaway. Bruchette equal to the task to keep it a one-goal game as Columbus has turned it up here in the end of the second period, collecting two in a short time. 
as they center it again. This time it's Lohr. They've got the pen stuck out there for long shifts with these long changes. And it looks like we're going to get an interference call here on Columbus. Interference as Lohr went down the right wing. Pens will have an offensive zone face-off to the left of the Columbus goaltender. 3-2 Columbus, second period, 2.09 to play. Bloom will step to the dot. Wins it cleanly to Baru. Baru to Foster. Foster will wind and fire. His puck skips in and cleared to the side by the Columbus goalie. Picked up there by Bowen, his centering pass. Intercepted by the defense, and back comes Columbus. Back pressure by Bowen, frees it up to the corner, but Columbus will give chase. Short-handed, they pop it in behind where Baru will pick it up. Baru looking for Bloom. It's out of his reach, turning with it to Columbus forward. Weaving around one, now two. Firing to the blocker side and wide of Bruchette. Picked up by Bloom. Bloom battled with. Cleared, but only to the point. Some short-handed pressure here by Columbus. Minute 30 to play in the second. Pens need a power play marker here. As it's Foster turning with it. Out of out of there comes a, a jacket, and the puck pops free. They send it over the net. Pens live to fight another day after that high-end scoring opportunity. Banked off the boards, picked up by Felino. Felino, back to the play, goes heavy off the glass. Foster will chip it, looking for Zachi. He's pressured immediately. Schweitzer will get there in support. They work it to Zachi. But Columbus keeps it in. Some short-handed heavy pressure here. To the point it comes, firing one, blocked again. This one, Schweitzer again. He's going to need an ice bath on the way home. Zachi will come up the left wing. Looking, firing, skips one just wide. He's got a heck of a shot. We've seen it a bunch of times. Dixon at the point, unable to keep it back, comes Columbus, but he stays in the fight. It frees up for Bowen. Bowen kicks it into the offensive zone. Zachi will be there with the offensive four-check pressure around him. And as the penalty expires and Columbus is in off sides on the attempt. They were trying to hit the player out of the penalty box. Tricky play there. Came off a of Penn's defenseman and it'll be off sides. point four to play that horn will mean the end of the second period a 3-2 game here in Columbus an exciting one from Ohio House Ice House Welcome, welcome, welcome back. We'll switch sides. We'll throw 15 minutes on the clock. And we'll settle this one on the ice. A 3-2 Columbus advantage as we head to the third. Lore comes away with it. Cuts to the middle. He's defended nicely by the Jackets. And back they come into the pen zone. Defended by Felino. 
again, a great game. A shout-out to all of these Penns defensemen playing with three defensemen in a second game, literally an hour and 20 minutes, a half an hour and a half after the first one ended. As Columbus works it from behind the net for an open shot that sails wide of Bruchette. Back to the point. Sending one in, it comes wide of the Penguins' goal. Felino. Now Schweitzer. Taking off his stick. Cut back to the middle. That's blocked out front by, I believe, Dixon. He's able to chase it down in the corner and clear to center as well. Zachi cuts in front of it. Unable to get control, but it'll pop free to Bowen. He'll drive into the offensive zone. It's taken off of his stick and sent back through center. Zachi to give chase. Zachi gets there. Able to clear the pen's end, and Columbus will put it in offsides. Looks like the Ryder Cup over for the day. Whistling streets in Wisconsin as the U.S. will take an 11-5 lead into the final day singles round matches. Needing three and a half points to bring the Ryder Cup back to the U.S. Columbus cuts into the Penguin zone. And the Pens will fly down the wing, getting to the Columbus end. But Columbus will fire it back up and in on Bruchette. It'll be a face-off to the right. By the Penguin Cage. To the wall by Columbus, and in front, a swooping lure picks it up and carries it out through center, through the neutral zone. Where the Columbus will collect in their own end. Up by the Pens, it's Zachi out to center. Into the offensive zone, left side, tries to cut to the middle. Puck pops free, rolls in on net where it's covered. As the Penguin power forward tries to drive in. Behind the net, Columbus picks it up, wraps it around and out into the Penguin zone where it's Dixon. Dixon fires it off the opposite boards. Columbus will send it back into the Pens end for Felino. Felino gathers it in. He looks for the wing Baru up by the blue line and his second attempt will get there. It's poked just off of his stick and kept in by Columbus. Back to the point it goes. Winding, firing from outside, blocked in front by Felino. Now Dixon, Dixon able to hit Baru. Baru cross ice for Bowen. Bowen will send it further into the Ohio end. 12 minutes to play, period three, battle along the wall. Banked off the boards, Felino gathers it. Felino turning, banking one for Schweitzer. It's past his reach. And carried behind by the Jackets. Schweitzer's pressure forces the turnover. He's got Lohr driving, gets it to him, and it skips just wide. Great play on the give and go again there by, well, more of a go by Lohr. Schweitzer with the puck pressure forcing a turnover, able to get it to him. Those two have had some chances. Schweitzer with one of the two goals in this one. Shot by Dixon, blocked up high by Columbus. Right back on the pressure. Is lower, but Columbus will fire it all the way down into the pen zone. It'll be icing. Face off all the way back to the Columbus end.
Tied up in the corner by the Pens. Through in front, Dixon up the wall. Support there by Bloom as it pops all the way free to center. A three on two develops. Foster forces him wide, stick play there. Great job getting it to the corner. And the Pens are back in the defensive zone to help out. From the wall, just off the stick of Bloom. Pass the forward for Columbus, pass the defenseman for Columbus. And they'll put it into the zone offside. Puck should come to neutral. I should come to center, but I think they'll put it outside the Penguin zone. Nope, they will put it in center ice. Right call here. Puck back to Felino. Felino, D to D to Foster. Foster for Schweitzer. Schweitzer taps it forward to Lohr. It's off his backhand between the feet and turning with it and coming up ice is Columbus. He is in off sides on the play. The left wing a step in front. And the Penguins catch a bit of a break there as he was buzzing. And 39 to go, 3-2. Oh, I have the wrong period up here. Sorry, folks. Period three. Penguins trying to complete a bit of a comeback. They had a 2-1 lead. Two quick goals by Columbus made it 3-2. Pens have had some chances as Columbus sends another one wide in a Penguins cage. Gathered by Zachi. Banks it off the boards for Schweitzer, but it's right to a Columbus defender who sends it back in behind. A wraparound attempt to the side. Unable to get past the Pens defender, Foster. To the point it goes. D to D by Columbus. As it comes free, can Lohr get there? He's got Zachi up ice if he can find him, but it's read nicely and broken up by Columbus. Back in they come. Carried wide, centering feed all the way through, turning with a shot. And there is Brochette with the pad down the puck. Kept out. And the lead still won. Welcome everybody here to Cinnamon's World TV. Make sure you're a subscriber. Looks like we picked up a few today. We need a few more. Tell friends, tell family. Get your family friends on the feed here watching your favorite Penn's Elite players. As we get an offside play. Speaking of your favorite Penn's Elite players, let's see them, folks. There they are. Your 2011 Penn's Elite upper left corner of your screen. Face off at center ice. Well, actually in the neutral zone. Just outside the Jackets line. Played into the Penguin zone. Chased down there by Baru. be Bloom coming away with it. He's got Baru up ice. Baru was just pressuring behind. Now he's already all the way up ice. Back comes Columbus into the offensive zone. Tipped off of a stick. It'll be Bloom getting there. He'll carry wide. A defender goes down. Pence could have some action as Bloom is run into the wall. It's picked up by Baru. Baru cuts to the middle. Firing one off the blocker. It'll be gathered in by Columbus. The whistle will indicate a penalty. Um, I believe Bloom is up. Maybe, maybe, I think. Did he, I think he was able to get back to the bench. Uh, but nonetheless, the Pens will head to a power play. It'll be Schweitzer, Zachi, Lore. Dixon, Foster, the five for the Penguins. Schweitzer on the draw. Tied up by Columbus, and they'll pick it up, carry it in behind. Wrapping behind the net, pressure by Schweitzer. Able to free it up as Foster at the blue line. He's unable to keep it. It was close. But no cigar. Whites are on the faceoff. Popped into the jacket zone. Banked off the boards for Dixon. Dixon centers one off the stick of Schweitzer. 
Carried by Columbus to the blue line short and it's Foster. Foster banks one off the boards. It's sent right back at him. Not once but twice and now it's into the corner. Coming back to help Schweitzer. They're able to clear it around to the point man. That shot in from the outside stopped and held by Bruchette. 120 left on the power play. 8.13 to play here in period three. Penguins trail by a goal. The turkey is on the table. Pens with a power play. Chance to tie it. Third period. It'll be Bloom to the dot. Set in front by Columbus and wide to Bruchette. Banked off the boards out the center. Bloom able to clear the zone. Penguins need to get possession, though, and set up the power play. It's forced forward by Bowen, picked up by the defense of Columbus. They'll go D to D in their own end, run a breakout. It's off the stick of a Penguin. That should not have been icing, but they will say it is. The guy in the scorer's box, very upset. For a game official, that's a little animated. Fifty-seven seconds on the power play. Bloom takes the draw, pops it forward. Columbus gets to it. Pressured by Bloom. Now Baru. Penguins looking to set up the power play here. Blue centers it, looking for Bowen, cut off by the defense. Kept at the blue line by Felino. He sends it forward. It's Bloom picking it up. Baru is on the ice, and that injury draws a whistle. As the Penguins' mash unit will continue, Baru grabbing his leg. coming off on his own power. So the Penguins will have a neutral zone draw here. The faceoff will come out of the Jackets zone with the Penguin injury causing the whistle. Schweitzer, Lohr, Zachi, Dixon, Felino. Schweitzer wins it, but it's streaking through the jacket center to get possession and fire it in behind the Penguins' net. Dixon will pick it up there. He sends it around to the point. No further, though. Kept in there, popped in behind. Picked up by the Pens, banked off the boards, gathered in by Lohr. Up for Zachi. Zachi cutting to the middle. Tries to go round one, picked up by Lohr, firing a shot. That skips it on that rebound, sits out front. It's popped by him, and it's in behind the net. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Lucas Zachi pops the puck in behind the, the Columbus goaltender and gets a power play goal. To tie this one at three here in the third period. The play, Zachi came in over the blue line. It popped free off of his stick to Lore. Lore fires one at the net. The rebound sits out front. It's poked behind, not in, and then followed up by the long reach of Luca Zachi to put it in behind and tie the game. Foster getting to the puck in the Penguins' head. Now can the Penguins get one to take the lead back? Comes back to the point man. Columbus got a quick one after they tied it to take the lead. Can the Penguins return the favor as it's out the center with Zachi? Cut off there by Columbus. Foster will chip it out the center. Zachi reaching, can't get control, but Foster will. He'll go indirect looking for Zachi and just a 
just missed getting it past the forward of Columbus. As he'll wind into the Penguin zone. He's cut off by Lore. Lore will get possession. Kept in by Columbus, but Zachi follows on. Battle on the wall. Six minutes left. Third period of play. Puck comes free. Lore will clear it out the center. It's icing if it's far enough, but it will not be as another pitching wedge check up there by the Pens. Fired into their end by Columbus, picked up by the speedy Bloom. Bloom behind, carrying, possessing. As the Pens come back through center, it's Foster into the offensive zone. Carries the outside, sends one in on net. It's loose for a moment and then covered. As in there was Finn Bowen looking for the rebound. 5.23 to play third period, 3-3 tie. Baru back on the ice, so he is healthy. Penguins still with nine. Bloom on the draw. One by Columbus, cleared up, and just past Felino. Foster to Felino. Felino off the boards to Bowen. Bowen hadn't quite cleared the zone as the puck entered. He was trying to gain possession of the puck. We'll get an offside play, 5-12. Face off. Controlled by nobody as a battle ensues on the wall. It'll be Felino chipping it to Bowen. Bowen firing it into the Columbus end. He'll pressure the puck. Turning with it, the Columbus defense. Firing it out to the center where it's picked up by Felino. He'll turn away from danger and try for Bowen. Battle on the wall. Back and forth we go. Right up against the Columbus bench. And a whistle. A whistle for a Columbus penalty. 4.42 to play. And your pens will head back to the power play. Schweitzer, Lohr, Zanchi. Foster, Dixon. The five on the power play for the pens. Schweitzer ties up the faceoff. Zanchi forces it further. It's picked up by Columbus, and back out they come. Schweitzer able to get a stick up and free it up. The Pens will look to set things up. It's Lohr. Lohr off the boards into the Columbus zone. A little dump and chase action. Schweitzer in the chase mode. Columbus able to get control and out through center. Foster there to break the play up, and then Lohr turning it the other way. It's a three-on-three three as Lore centers it to Zachi. He pokes it towards the net. Lore follows on. It'll come out to Foster. Foster to Lore. Lore trying to give it back to Foster, I think. Or it just popped off of his stick. Not sure. But it'll be the Penguins defenseman at the blue line able to put it in the opposite corner for Bloom to chase down. Bloom pressuring. Frees it up for Foster at center. Pens will get on sides as they'll dump it in, and Bloom will give chase. Pens get a line change. It's Bloom with Baru now out there. Bloom sticks his nose in trying to free the puck up. A trip coming up on the Pens will even things up. And it'll be Landon Bloom headed to the Sidbin. We'll play some four on four hockey. Lots of space out here now. Looks like it'll be Baru and Bowen up front. It'll be three. Let's set the scene for you, folks. Ohio Ice House, home of the Columbus Blue Jackets practice facility, attached to Nationwide Arena here in downtown Columbus. Not far from where Ohio State has taken on Akron. We've got three minutes and 36 seconds to play here in the game. 
A game tied at three. Four on four hockey for 54 seconds. Followed by a minute and six of Blue Jacket power play time. So it'll be four on four. Then it'll be PK. And then hopefully a minute and 36 seconds from there until the end of the game. Penguins looking to get a four on four goal if they can. It'll be Schweitzer and Lohr. As the faceoff is won by Columbus, shot sent in off of Bruchette and wide. As Columbus tries to set things up four on four, they peel off the wall and he'll fire one short side on the blocker. And Columbus will get a four on four tally to make it 4-3. Coming off that wall, they did it a bunch in game one, coming off that wall, firing it short side. Still four on four for 38 seconds. Baru to take the draw. He's got Zachi on the wing. One back to Felino. Tipped by him by Baru. Baru will chase in the jacket zone. Firing it up into the pen's end is Columbus. It's Foster to the blue line, no further. Set in, it's an, they'll call an offside play at the blue line. And so we'll reset at neutral ice with 3.02 to play. 20 seconds left of 4v4. Then Columbus will head to a power play. Pens need to make a. Columbus fires it into the Pens and they're going to make him go the whole way down. Felino gets there. He's cut off by a jacket, but he's able to stay with the puck and get it to Zachi. He stopped at the blue line, and it's another offside. Eight seconds left on the four on four. We're back to the point. Bowen up for Lore. Lore trying to come through center. He's cut off, spinning it back into the... Penguin zone as Columbus will head to the power play. Felino in his own end. Works it up the boards. It's Lure able to get it out to the blue line no further. Columbus will try to set up. Working it back into the middle. Shot in on Bruchette. Able to get there with the mitt and cover the puck. 44 seconds left on the Columbus power play. Faceoff won by Columbus. Back to the point. Shot in. Deflects high and wide. And a shot from the side of the net gets underneath the pad of Bruchette on the power play. And it's 5 3. the draw. Pens at even strength here. Still have the penalty on the board though. This guy's have a <laughs> some clock issues here in, in Columbus. Driving into the offensive zone around Foster firing one and that's wide of Br comes in wide of Bruchette centering pass off the side of the cage back to the point. Winding up there, sending one in, skips in, Bruchette there to make the stop. Banked back to the point. Firing again, that's blocked out front. It'll be Foster carrying it through center. Cutting to the middle. 
Peru unable to stay on sides. So we'll set up again in the neutral zone. It'll be Schweitzer. One by Columbus. Chip it all the way into the pen's end for Felino. He'll square up, go off the boards for Lore. That's cut off by a forward. Sent back in towards the net. Foster there to rim it around behind, and he looks for Bowen. Bowen able to chip it past out to center. Down goes a jacket. Bowen will dig. Sent back through center. It's Lore twisting it center ice, and he's knocked down. We'll get a whistle and a trip. And the Pens will head back to the power play. Game not over, boys and girls. Pens will have an offensive zone draw on the power play. 54.8 to play, third period. Looks like we have a timeout. So it'll be to the left of the Columbus cage. Bloom, Schweitzer, Bowen. Empty net. Bloom, Schweitzer, Bowen, Baru. Dixon and Foster. Empty net for the Pens. Kept in at the blue line by Foster. Second attempt cleared out the center. Chipped forward. Bloom at the blue line. Unable to get it in. Foster will try. Comes free to Dixon. He'll f oh, I thought he was going to send one deep. Now he will. Puck pressure coming from Schweitzer and Baru. It's popped up in the air. Schweitzer gets there. Centers one. It's off the back of the cage. Now Baru from behind. He centers looking in front for Bowen. Columbus turning with it in their own end. They'll go off the boards. It's there for Dixon. Dixon will fire that heavy shot towards the net. Following on Bloom. Baru. Now Schweitzer able to keep it in. It's at the point for Dixon. Dixon, I think it's out the center. It is. Picked up by Schweitzer, though. They'll wind back in. Sent back the other way as time will expire. And the Penguins have suffered a 5-3 loss, but a significant amount of progress made from game one to game two in the defensive zone through the neutral zone out of their own end. Join us again when we head to Cleveland, I believe, in a week. Hopefully, we'll bring you some of those games. I know the schedule ever-changing. I don't know what time they'll be. And the 10s play as well, so I don't know what my schedule will look like. But I will do the best we can to bring you what we can. Thanks for joining us here on Cinnamon Swirl TV.